So I'm Becky. I'm the director of Manchester Poetry Library, opening in 2020. Um, I think Travis Alabanza deserves to be honoured during LGBTQ uh, History Month. Uh, an inspirational queer artist, national and international performer, theatre maker. Um, here's what Travis said. To be trans, black and femme, is to be a constant obstacle course. It's to be in continuous movement dictated from the track. It's learning how to simultaneously apply your lipstick while jumping away from incoming traffic, to dodge bullets whilst ensuring your heel doesn't sink into the cracks on the sidewalk. So Travis wrote that after, um, in the minutes after, someone in broad daylight threw a chicken burger um, at them on Waterloo Bridge and described how hundreds of strangers just passed. Nobody acknowledged it, didn't come and help. And he developed this into a piece of theatre that I saw last year at Edinburgh. And it completely blew me away. I've never seen anything like it. The best piece of theatre I've seen in years. Because it was politics, poetry, risk, experimentation, he plucked a white heterosexual man from the audience to make a burger with him, cooking it from scratch on stage. Um, and it explored, obviously, what had happened, the street harassment, uh, colonialisation, um, and there were people crying. There was a man crying behind me, and I ended up putting my hand on the knee of the man behind me, and I realised I knew him. And we spent the next two or three hours walking about uh, my friend's experiences of being trans in Edinburgh. So, you know, it, it definitely set people talking about their experiences, and I think that's an important part of, of Travis's work. Travis said in, a, in an article recently, if you see somebody harassed, say, that's not okay. Go out of your way to listen. If you don't have trans people in your life, find people online, buy books, learn what's happening to us. We just need to take care of each other. But again, look out Travis Alabanza's work and go and see it. It's amazing.